tunnel is an underground or underwater passageway dug through the surrounding of soil, earth and rock. And to excavate tunnels, the machine called Tunnel Boring Machine is used. How does this tunneling operations work? Join me at the Industrial Guidance video by Centre for E-Learning and Teaching Polytechnic Malaysia. Let's go! Welcome back to the Industrial Gardens video by Centre for E-Learning and Teaching Polytechnic Malaysia. Our topic today is on tunneling, tunnel boring machine in MRT Sungai Buloh Kajang Line. Assalamualaikum, Saludin. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Very good, how are you? Okay, thank you for being with us at the Centre for E-Learning and Teaching Polytechnic Malaysia. So today, uh, I would like to uh, discuss and talk with you with regards to this topic on tunnel boring machine. So uh, before that, maybe you can explain about the tunneling system and how people construct tunnel. Okay, the normal sequence of tunneling is, uh, first of all, we need a launch shaft mm -hmm. and then uh, we will uh, bring down the TBMs into the shaft in uh, parts and then we will assemble inside the shaft and then we will launch the machine the tunnel boring machine and then it will uh, continue tunneling uh, with the normal cycle of uh, excavation and uh, ring building mm -hmm. so that's that's the normal cycle and then uh, it will mine through at a uh, certain rate and then when it reaches we need another retrieval shaft mm -hmm. when it reaches the retrieval shaft break out from the wall we will retrieve the machine. Uh, it will sit on a TBM cradle, mm -hmm. and then we will dismantle uh, the TBM into parts, and then we'll take it out from there. Okay, that's the, actually the process, the, uh, process. the stages of uh, building a tunnel. Yes. Okay, but what is actually TBM or tunnel boring machines? So, uh, how does it work, and how big is these machines? Okay, the tunnel boring machine, uh, it's one of the ways used to build a tunnel mm -hmm. uh, other than other types of uh, methods such as uh, NATO method which is the manual uh, excavation. Mm -hmm. uh, so this machine, like I mentioned uh, earlier, it is a process of uh, excavation and uh, ring building. So mm -hmm. once we advance the machine forward, we will uh, build the permanent tunnel at the back. So that's the normal cycle. Okay. Uh, this uh, tunnel boring machine, the diameter is 6.62 uh, uh, meter diameter, uh, 135 meters length. Mm -hmm. it, this is called a variable density machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, specifically designed for Kuala Lumpur limestone formation. Mm -hmm. uh, you, so this is actually very special to this uh, limestone formation. Uh, the machine is built, uh, is designed together with MMC Gamuda and Herang Neck AG. Mm -hmm. So the normal cycle is, uh, when I mentioned just now, excavation. The soil or ground at the front, mm -hmm. we will uh, cut and uh, we will collect it inside the excavation chamber. Mm -hmm. And the excavated material will be transported via the screw conveyor mm -hmm. into a crusher to make uh, the materials, uh, excavated material smaller. Mm -hmm. So after that, we will pump it out using slurry system. So what happened to the excavated soil? The excavated soil, once we transport it out on, onto the surface, uh, we will, uh, the material will go to a, slur a slurry treatment plant mm -hmm. where we will separate the unused material and we will, use, uh, the, uh, we will reuse the bentonite. Mm -hmm. to continue with the, the tunneling operation. Okay, uh, Saludin, while machine is excavating, how do you know that the, or monitor what types of rock is at subsurface? For knowing this uh, ground condition, there are many stages of doing this. Uh, many studies are done before we even start to start tunneling, before we even mm -hmm. uh, break the ground. We do soil investigation to know which, uh, what, what type of ground we are going to uh, face. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if you're asking uh, during tunneling, we how do we the the question is uh, really on how to make sure we are using the right mode or the right system for specific ground. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, many systems to uh, to monitor this. We have. Uh, 
inside the TBM, we can monitor the ground pressure. We can monitor our tunneling uh, confinement pressure, which is the face pressure that we are uh, setting into. Uh, we are putting onto the uh, cutting face. Okay, uh, we we make a balance of all this uh, monitoring uh, devices, the face pressure, the amount of uh, soil being excavated out, and uh, also we have on the surface we have uh, monitoring points being installed on the ground surface whether there's a nearby building we will install bidding settlement markers or tilt meters or we will install uh, ground settlement markers along the alignment or we we, we also install uh, stand stand pipes to monitor the level of uh, groundwater fluctuations and uh, for for near near buildings, uh, for slopes maybe we have uh, inclinometers used to see if there are movement in the ground. So regarding the, the segments, uh, we need to fit the tunnel team, the, the shift workers, um, continuously with uh, segment tunnel because segment tunnel, uh, tunnel segments will be installed in the tunnel okay? while machine is running because our machine is running 24-7 so we need to continuously supply them without any hiccup right? and um, over here in Cochrane tunnel site which is the, the, the main site where I'm based in covering uh, all other sites so I over here need to monitor uh, segments delivery to other sites also and uh, other Another um, job scope uh, for me, which is to monitor the plant operation, which, uh, for example, the slurry treatment plant, centrifuge, uh, high density, and also bentonite slurry batching plant. Because this machine is not running by itself, it needs bentonite slurry, it needs high density because our machine is rubber density tunnel boring machines. And uh, of course, centrifuge and also slurry treatment plant to process the excavated materials. Okay, a part of that, uh, I was I was work in the tunnel as a tunnel engineer, and um, I'm also monitoring the uh, and supervising the work, the the job scope in the in mining. Okay, for example, um, we have a team um, working in the machine, so we need to monitor them. We need to coordinate with them. Who's going to be the crowder? Who's going to be the segment director? For example, and then in order that machine to mining smoothly. Right. A part of that, um, during a post tunneling works after machine already retrieved, I'm also involved with the tunnel, re uh, tunnel repair and also uh, first stage concreting works in the tunnels because our tunnel, after we build it, we need to make sure the tunnel is ready for tracks uh, and also for mechanical and electrical purposes. <music> It's a very challenging job, it's a very uh, good experience and it's a very uh, demanding job I can say like right now for, because tunneling is one of the new scope for uh, Malaysia industry, Malaysia construction industry. So um, yeah, as a female, I don't see any constraint between me and also the other male engineers. Um, I can work well, I can uh, get along very well with them um, and I don't have, I don't think uh, I have any problem uh, which is related to um, gender. You have to set your mind, set your goal, and also um, set your heart because um, you have to face uh, male engineers, male workers. Everything here is all about male. But uh, to be a female here is a very special creatures. I can say it's very special, uh, very special creatures, mm -hmm. and also a very special. Um, Team because uh, once you are female here, then uh, yeah, you can get anything that you want, and you can get any knowledge that you can get from all those uh, male uh, scope of work. is a 
a new industry but is expecting to grow. There's a challenge awaits you out there. So all the best from the Industrial Gardens video by Centre for E-Learning and Teaching Polytechnic Malaysia. Bye.